It's being called the holy grail of baseball memorabilia, and it's for sale. Bidding expected to break the all-time record of more than a million dollars. It's an authentic lineup plaque with the ultimate fantasy baseball team, and it's signed by nine of the greatest players to ever grace the game, including the Babe, the Splendid Splinter, and Cy. Here now, live in Studio B, Dan Gelatine. He's the CEO of FreeCell.com, and if you go wider, this is the big thing right here. And you look at these things, and it's kind of mind-boggling because you have, you have Ty Cobb, you have Ted Williams, you have Honus Wagner, you have uh, Rogers Hornsby, you have the Babe up there. These things have all been legitimized, right? Correct, by Upper Deck. And and they are the they are the preeminent legitimizers. So so Absolutely. whoever buys this knows that this thing is real. Correct. Now, why why are they selling it? Why are you selling it? Uh, this piece was put together as a grand prize. Uh, there were, the Upper Deck made millions of cards, and there was only one to redeem this. And uh, the vice president of Upper Deck calls it the most important piece of baseball autograph memorabilia in the hobby, bar none. Yeah. So freesale.com, and right now you're uh, we're, we're going till January 1st, you said? Uh, December 3rd, New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, and what, what's the bidding at right now? Uh, right now it's at 99000 And you expect it to go above a million, and why is that? We're hoping that it will because there's no other piece, there's no other comparable piece like it in the world, period. Even, even uh, Mark McGuire's 70th? Um, and you've got, I mean, you've got some great things out there that I've seen bid on that, that have drawn sure. some money. Sure. Mark McGuire's uh, ball sold for over a million. Uh, this piece has uh, three of the first five players inducted into the Hall of Fame, including uh, Honus Wagner, uh, Babe Ruth, who hit the first uh, home run in Yankee Stadium. Uh, and it's just a terrific piece. It, it's incomparable to anything else. If I buy this for a million, Dan, in 10 years and 20 years, do you expect this thing to double in value? Do you expect it to go up? I mean, there's only one, you said, right? There's only one piece in the world, and one can only imagine what it'll be worth in 10 to 20 years. Is baseball memorabilia in general going up? I mean, is it because there's more collectors? Is it because these things are more rare? Or is it because the players today just don't generate the same enthusiasm as the guys that did in this day? Uh, I think it's a little of both. I think that these were the original greats of the game when it began. Uh, Honus Wagner was playing in 1897. And I think what happens is, is the cream stuff brings the ultimate price. And the stuff where there's millions of it, uh, maybe the price will settle. What about, I mean, I know you know this, what if, are you looking forward to Barry Bonds' 756th home run? I mean, I, I got to believe it's not going to be as valuable this year as we thought it would be five years ago. Uh, I think that, I think that this piece, Barry Bonds is, is with us today. This is what, what we call a vintage piece. Right, right. Uh, everyone included is, is playing in the big leagues in the sky and uh, Barry Bonds is still with us today. So that's what makes it if you had to pull one of the names out of there, because I've seen Babe Ruth before in a couple of things, if you right. had to pull one name out of there as the linchpin to making this thing so valuable, which is it? I think that Honus Wagner, because his tobacco card is so valuable, has to be right. the uh, he's the, the Honus Wagner card uh, in, in, for baseball collectors has been the most expensive card of of all time, and having him in the piece, uh, especially from when he was playing in 1897. Yeah. Then who buys this? Who buys this? Somebody, uh, probably some uh, serious uh, baseball collector that wants to. That's the great part. It's a piece of art. You can hang it in your office. But it's a guy who loves the game. It's not just a guy who's got boatloads of money and wants to have it. It's a guy who really has a passion for the game. It's uh, exactly somebody who loves the beginning of the game and somebody who, who wants something that nobody else in the world has. Dan Gelady and Dan, it's great stuff. Good luck to you. New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve, December 31st. The yeah. video.